What a beautiful day to learn in school. And what are you learning today? Ah, the basic emotions. Pops, shall we go over them again? Joyful, when a big smile is drawn on our faces. <laughs> Sad, if we can't help crying. Fearful, when we open our eyes and mouth wide. Scared, <laughs> Angry, if we frown and pout. <laughs> Thanks, Pops. Children, did you learn them? Very, very well. Great then. The task for tomorrow is to bring a picture of every emotion learned today. Joyful, sad, fearful, and angry. The garden is a good place to take pictures, don't you think, kids? Great choice, Phoebe. The photo will have a beautiful background. Hey, Groovy, you are finally going to fulfill your dream of being a model. Pose for us. <laughs> All right. Now pretend you're super happy. Hey, you don't look really happy. Let's try better with sadness. Come on, Groovy. Hmm. It's going to be more difficult than I thought. Pops has an idea to make the photos work. Provoke Groovy's emotions. But shh, it's better that Groovy doesn't know. What a scary pose, Groovy. Perfect picture. You already have one emotion, fear. Let's continue with the next one. Hmm. That broccoli looks great. How happy Groovy is. Oh no, it wasn't for you, Groovy. You're so sad. Great! Two emotions and one to go. Joy and sadness. We only have one left to complete the album. Oh no, the camera is broken! There is the missing emotion, anger. What a pity that we can't take a picture of Phoebe, but what about a drawing? Yes, you can draw anger in the album directly. What's the matter? Don't you have something to draw with? I see. Groovy, can you help us? Children, what should Groovy transform into to draw on the album? A pearl necklace? A marker? Or a rugby ball? Yes, into a marker. Great.
It's fantastic, Phoebe. The album is full. Homework done. You can play now. Oh, an A+. Plus. That's really something to be cheerful about, kids. Let's see those smiles. Cheer up, Groovy. You'll end up doing it well. What a beautiful day to play with all these toys. Groovy, watch out! <laughs> what a crash! Oh, what's wrong with Phoebe? Could you tell me? How does Phoebe feel? Joyful? Fearful? Angry? Or sad? That's it. Phoebe is sad. Nice try. Oh, Phoebe must be very sad not to laugh with you. Groovy, it's okay if Phoebe's sad. Emotions aren't bad. They help us to know what we are feeling. We need to find out why Phoebe's sad. What's the matter, Phoebe? Why are you sad? Oh no, Snuggles is gone. Now we understand why Phoebe feels so sad. Snuggles is her pet, and she loves him very much. Wait a minute, but Snuggles always leaves for a while. But you're worried because he hasn't come back yet. How long has he been gone? Don't worry, Phoebe. We're going to help you find him. Phoebe, have you looked around already? And the rest of the garden? Yes, the garden is very big and Snuggles is very small. We need help to find him quickly. Groovy, can you help us? Children, what should Groovy transform into to find Snuggles? A toy truck? A helicopter? Or a slipper? Exactly! Into a helicopter! Great! Where the roses are. 
He's stuck in the fence. Oh, so much love. How beautiful. I love stories with a happy ending. Phoebe has gone from being sad to joyful thanks to our friendship. Yay! Haha, <laughs> 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 Snuggles is having a great time. It's groovy, too! What a beautiful day to play in the sandbox! Haha, <laughs> groovy! That crab is so cute! What smells so good? I'm sure it's something delicious! Watch out! Uh, broccoli! That's what smells so good! No, Groovy, you have to wait until everyone is at the table. Why don't you go find Phoebe? Phoebe, lunch is ready. Hurry up because Groovy is starving. Groovy, you have to help Phoebe get free. <laughs> I think that won't be enough. I don't know if any of these transformations will work. Wait, yes, a shovel is just what we need. We can tell how hungry Groovy is by how he runs. What's wrong, Phoebe? Don't you like broccoli? Broccoli tastes great, right, Groovy? <coughs> Groovy, that's Phoebe's lunch. Phoebe, broccoli is really healthy. Don't you want to try it? I'm sure you're going to like it. Mm, Pops, help me explain to her how important it is to eat vegetables and fruits. Eating fruits and vegetables like broccoli is really important for our health. Fruits and veggies are our main source of nutrients to be strong and grow without stopping. We should eat five pieces of fruits and veggies a day. Groovy eats more than five. For sure, <laughs> and you kids, do you eat fruits and veggies daily? Phoebe, why won't you even try a little bit of this broccoli? Come on, if you only give it a chance, I'm sure you're gonna love it. Right, kids? Oh, Phoebe can't keep cycling because she's starving. Of course you haven't eaten your veggies. Now you have no strength. Wow, Groovy! That broccoli made you super strong! <laughs> Don't worry, Phoebe. We can fix it later. But now, how are we going to get back home? I know! Groovy can help us! Groovy, can you help us? <laughs> wow! 
What should Groovy transform into to bring Phoebe and her broken tricycle home? Into a bouquet of flowers? A mop? Or tow truck? That's it! Groovy should transform into a tow truck to get back home. All right, kids. Wow, with this super tow truck, we'll be home in a minute. Look, Groovy, today's your lucky day. There's veggies for dinner, too. I'm sorry, Phoebe. Come on, Phoebe, try it. Surely they're delicious. Daddy cooks really well. See, I'm not lying. Veggies are delicious. I can't believe it. <laughs> she liked them so much that she's also eaten Groovy's dinner. <laughs> Don't worry. Groovy, there's more for you. You can repeat veggies as many times as you want. How well have you eaten dinner? With all these veggies, you'll have energy to play non-stop. Beautiful day to play at the beach. No, Groovy, you can't just leave the waste there. Even if it's not yours, you should throw it into the container. Awful. The beach is full of garbage. We can't allow it, children. We should do something. Right, Pops? Our planet is in danger because humans won't stop polluting. Garbage can't be thrown anywhere. It must be thrown into the container. Also, we must recycle, throwing each bottle into their container green bottles inside the green container, blue bottles inside the blue container, and red ones inside the red container. Come on, children, let's recycle all together. In which container should these bottles be thrown? Really good, Phoebe. Well done. The blue bottle goes inside the blue container. No, Groovy. The red bottle doesn't go inside the blue container. In which one, children? Exactly. Inside the red one. I have an idea to clean the beach. Why don't we have a competition between Phoebe and Groovy to see who is faster picking up bottles? Do you accept the challenge? 
The game is very easy. There are five bottles in each field. Phoebe and Groovy have to collect and recycle them correctly. Understood? Ready, set, go. The two players get the bottle. Phoebe dunks her own correctly, but Groovy fails. Oh no, you have to pick it up again. Phoebe takes the lead ahead of Groovy, who has now correctly slammed his bottle. Phoebe goes for her third bottle, while Groovy goes for the second. It seems that the game is decided. Phoebe is going to win unless Groovy does something. Unbelievable! Groovy transforms into an octopus and advances positions. The game is not decided yet. The game is very even. Both players are going to dunk their last bottles, and the result is... Draw! Actually, we have all won, because the beach has been cleaned. Thanks, kids! Oh, a giant wave! What's up? The wave has left the beach full of bottles again. Children, we have a problem, a really big one. The sea is full of bottles too. What can we do to collect them? Can you think of something? I know, Groovy can help us. What should Groovy transform into to collect the bottles? Pencil? A boat? Or a ball? That's it! Groovy should transform into a boat to collect the bottles. Come on, kids. Let's fish these bottles. Wow, the beach looks beautiful. Now that it's clean, we can continue enjoying this wonderful day. What a great idea. Celebrate it with fresh fruit juice. But kids, what do we have to do when it's finished? Exactly, recycle them. Very well, you have learned the lesson. The trash always to its container. Let's clean up the beach and don't forget to recycle the trash. Trash bin. The glass things go in the glass trash bin. The glass things go in the glass trash bin. The glass things go in the glass trash bin. The glass things go in the glass trash bin. 
day for gardening. Groovy, could you bring these little broccoli plants to Phoebe? No, Groovy. If you eat them all, there won't be any big broccoli. <laughs> That's better. Phoebe, Groovy, the kids and I want to see your garden. Would you show us? These kids are tomato plants. These delicious tomatoes can be eaten, num num, in a salad. Do you like salads? Believe it or not, these are carrots. Yes, carrots. Phoebe, will you show them to the kids? And what's that? Does anyone know what those veggies are called? Exactly. Pumpkins. We play a lot with them at Halloween. <laughs> Quiet, Groovy. Pumpkins are harmless like the rest of the vegetables and also great for our health. Oh, I'm melting. It's too hot. You should protect yourself from the sun before your heads get sunburned. Oh no, veggies are also hot. Thanks for your straw hat, nice gesture. But what they really, really need is to get water. The hose is there, come on. Kids, kids. Children, children, children. Keep playing, you are going to break the hose. And it's broken. Thanks, Pops. Children, water is a very scarce resource. You can't waste it like that. Pops, can you help me explain why? All the living beings who live on Earth, plants, animals, humans, and some Martians, need water to survive. As more time passes, there is less water on our planet because we consume more than what is produced. This is why it's super important that we take care of the water we have. This is to say we should use it only for essential things like drinking, washing, or watering our gardens without wasting it. Do you understand? You were playing with the water and have forgotten about watering the plants. And the hose is broken now. How can we water this garden in a sustainable way? <laughs> I don't think that will be enough, Phoebe. But I know, I'm sure Groovy can help us. Children, what should Groovy transform into to save the veggies? 
A watering can? Toothpaste? Or a brush? That's right, kids. Groovy should transform into a watering can to save the veggies. Really good, Phoebe. Closing the tap on time to save water. Look, plants look beautiful now that they've been watered. If they could talk, they would thank you for sure. A day of hard work in the garden leaves you thirsty. But don't forget what you've learned. We have to share water with everyone and never waste it. What a beautiful day to play soccer in the garden. Hey Groovy, try to score a goal. Haha, <laughs> you have to aim better. What's wrong, kids? The ball is across the street. Children, no! You can't run so close to the road. It's very dangerous. I know, Phoebe, we have to cross the road to pick up the ball, but we need to follow some road safety rules first. Pops, help me explain it. First, look for a crosswalk. White stripes painted on the road surface connecting one side of the road with the other. It's also called zebra crossing because the lines look like zebra stripes. Second, wait until the traffic light marks green for pedestrians. The traffic light is a luminous sign that indicates who has priority to pass. It has two parts, one for cars and one for pedestrians. You have to look for the one with puppets. Red means stop and green means go. So when the light is on, we can cross. Third, look both ways before crossing to be sure no cars are coming. Fourth, wait for the cars to stop completely. All right, ready to cross for the ball? Let's follow the rules of road safety. First, look for a crosswalk. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> that's it. No, Groovy, not yet. Second, we have to wait until the traffic light marks green for pedestrians. Green lights is on. Third step, look both sides to be sure no cars are coming. And lastly, wait for the cars to stop completely. Now we are ready to cross the road. Go for the ball. Mission accomplished. We have rescued the ball. Let's go home to continue with the game. We have to cross again. Remember what we've learned. What? The traffic light is broken. Now we can't cross. We need the cars to stop. What can we do, kids? Groovy, will you help us? What should Groovy transform into to cross the road? A baby bottle? A red stop sign? Or a spider? That's right, kids. Groovy should transform into a red stop sign to cross the road. Remember, red means stop. When cars see it, they're forced to stop. But always look both ways and never cross if cars are coming. Well done, kids. Let's keep playing. 
Hey kids, what's Pop say? Oh, he's right. They've left the door open. Very good, Groovy. Avoid dangerous situations is the best road safety advice. Great. What a beautiful day to play on the swing. Wow, Phoebe knows how to swing by herself. Groovy, why don't you try? It looks like fun. Come on. Ah, really good. Wait, what's that? It's a mole. Where is he going? To his house? Let's learn about animal homes. Does the mole live inside a bush? <laughs> no, it was just a snail. They live inside their shells, so they're carrying their own house around. And look over there, a spider. They make spider webs to live in and also to catch their prey. Let's continue our way to the mole's house. Look kids, a frog. Frogs live in ponds, so fun. Kids, look at that. The dirt road ends in that hole. That must be his house. Groovy, what are you doing? <laughs> Do you want to see what it looks like? Moles dig burrows that are connected by tunnels. That's why they can appear anywhere in your garden. Wow, it's huge. Pops, where are you going? Look what he's found. A baby bird is about to be born. Oh no, it's going to fall. Thank God you caught it. How is it? Hi, little bird. Oh, it can't fly yet. It's just a baby. We have to help him go home. Do you know where it lives? Birds live inside a nest. They build their nest over the trees. But its nest is too high. How can we get over them? What should Groovy transform into to help that little bird? A hula hoop? A camera? Or a fire truck? That's right, kids. Groovy should transform into a fire truck. Really good, Groovy. It's almost there. Welcome home, little bird. Hey kids, do you want to play a game? Where do animals live? Look, these are the animals we've found. A mole, a snail, a spider, a frog, and a bird. Do you know where they all live? Where does the mole live? In a burrow, a shell, a spider web, a pond, or a nest? Really good. Moles live inside burrows. Where does the bird live? In a shell? A spider web? A pond? Or a nest? That's it. 
Birds live in a nest over the trees. And the snail? Where does it live? In a shell? A spider web? Or a pond? Right, snails live inside their shells. What about the frog? Where does it live? In a spider web? Or a pond? That's right, frogs live in ponds. There's only one animal left, the spider. And sure, spiders live in spider webs. Let's go through them all again. Moles live inside burrows. Birds live in nests over the trees. Snails live inside their shells. Frogs live in ponds. And spiders live in spider webs. Really good! Whoa! Are you having a picnic in the garden? So cool! What snacks are you bringing? Mmm, fruit. Oh, is that a peach? Mmm, yummy. Sounds delicious. Groovy, be careful with the seed. Inside some fruits, there are seeds, and some of them are too big to eat. <laughs> you don't know what a seed is, right? Let me explain. From the seeds, we get the fruit we eat. How does it happen? First, we make a little hole in the soil. Second, we put the seed in. Third, we cover it. And fourth, we have to water it to make it grow. From the seed, a little plant grows. And this little plant will become a big tree, like this one, the peach seed. Good idea, Phoebe. We could plant the seed. That's right, Groovy. We only need the seed. <laughs> so first, we have to make a little hole. Here. No, Groovy, that's too big. <laughs> well, we definitely have the hole. Second, we put the seed in. Third, we cover it with the soil. And fourth, Exactly. We have to water it. Plants need water to grow. Groovy, can you help us? Children, what should Groovy transform into to water the seed? Into a rake? A basket? Or a watering can. Perfect! A watering can! Now we can water the seed. kids are you waiting for it to grow haha <laughs> be patient plants need time to grow big and strong we'll have to wait wait look over there hey, you see it begins very small but just wait to see how big it can get come each season to see how it's changed Summer. In summer, the sun shines bright and it's always hot. Look how big it is now. The sun helps plants grow. It's its food. Autumn. In autumn, it's cloudy and it rains very often. Most leaves turn brown and fall all over the ground. But don't worry, kids. The tree's just resting. When sun comes back, green leaves will grow again. In winter, it's always cold and it snows a lot. Because of the bad weather, there aren't leaves yet. 
Oh, that's right, kids. The tree might be cold without its leaves. <laughs> Much better now. <laughs> In spring, the days are warmer and sunny. There are lots of flowers in the garden. Look at our tree. It's beautiful. Wow, look what happened. Flowers turned into peaches. Whee, let's have some fruit. Tell me, kids, aren't they tasty? It was really fun to see them grow. Let's plant something else. Groovy, what are you doing? What? A unicorn? Do you want to plant a unicorn? <laughs> Unicorns don't grow on trees. <laughs> Kids, let's go over the seasons again. Summer, autumn, winter, and spring. In summer, there is always hot weather, and it's the perfect time to go to the beach. In autumn, it's colder and it rains a lot. The leaves turn brown and fall all over the ground. In winter, it's very cold and there's no sunshine. That's why plants are sleeping. But it snows a lot, which is amazing. In spring, the sun shines bright again and everything is covered by flowers. It's a nice time to enjoy the outdoors. Use the 
Groovy, 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 groovy the Martian. 